Hello there, dear viewer. Please get a drink, sit back, relax, and let me tell you a story. A story about the first E3 press conference ever held. A story of hubris brought about by one's past success. A story about a newcomer sweeping the industry in one fell swoop. A story about the price heard around the world. This is E3 1995. Let's roll the clock back a bit. It's May of 1995. Sony has just entered the console market in Japan with the PlayStation at the tail end of 94 last year, and are now about to release the console in North America in September of this year. Nintendo was feeling pretty comfy with its success with the Super Nintendo. However, Sega saw massive success during this era, and outside of Japan, they were catching up real fast. Nintendo responded by doing this. Oh, and the N64 was almost finished, but the portable migraine machine really wasn't helping them here. So Sega started getting really cocky, really hyped up on their future potential, and it would seem they were huffing their own fumes a bit too much. Come E3, and Sega was showing off the Sega Saturn, which, similar to the PlayStation, was already out in Japan, but was slated to release in September, just a few days before the PlayStation. But Sega made a crucial mistake, one that would have them fall victim to the first mic drop in E3's history. Sega's then-CEO Tom Kalinske hyped up the Saturn in any way that you would expect for what was at the time a stuffy press conference. But then they announced that the Saturn was already in stores, and that the console was priced at $399, which was pretty expensive, especially in 1995 money. This attempt at getting ahead of the competition would fall flat for Sega, however, as it was found soon after that the Saturn was in short supply, rendering a lot of the hype generated by their conference kinda useless, much like the Saturn itself. And then came Sony, the new guy on the block. After a falling out with Nintendo, Sony took the tech and ideas they were working with and decided to make a console of their own, the PlayStation. It uses discs instead of cartridges, it's got superb 3D graphics technology, a controller whose first version just looks wrong but would be fixed later, the mascot of Polygon Man would become Crash Bandicoot, things were looking pretty good for Sony. And to cement how good things were looking, Sony's then-CEO, Steve Race, stepped up to the podium and spoke those magical words. The price heard around the world. I'm going to ask Sony Computer Entertainment Presidents of America, Steve Race, to join me for a brief presentation. Yeah, the fifth console generation did not end well for Sega. With the Saturn selling only about 9.5 million units, the Migraine Boy flopped, the N64 sold a comfortable 32.93 million units, and Sony's PlayStation sold... It was a massacre. And Sony wasn't done quite yet. But that's a story for another time. I hope you enjoyed this little trip down memory lane, I'm looking at the beginning of E3 now that it seems that the once famed conference is now fading away into a memory. It's good to look back and see where the gaming conferences and conventions today have their roots. This has been The Ratman, and I will see you all later.